What's up, everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, July 22nd, 2019. I am back. This is the first video in a while. I appreciate your patience. I have the new studio almost set up. I don't have the acoustic panels in yet, so I really apologize if there's an echo. I'll do my best to edit the video. Um, so bear with me there, but we're pretty much set up in the new studio. I'm really excited uh, as we grow this channel. I appreciate your support. Let's just jump in. I want to talk about Bitcoin. What is going on? Is there a new lower low in play? In my opinion, there is. I've been talking about it for a while now. Let's start the video. Let's talk about this tweet from a little earlier uh, as a clip from a video I did on June 28th. I said the anticipated Bitcoin falling wedge I talked about on June 28th is on the borderline of continuing to the next lower low in the 8000s. Watching for 50 moving average support on the daily chart. And if I actually just expand this real quick, I'm not going to play this video but you can see this very speculative looking falling wedge on June 28th that I drew on the chart. Now, it's speculative because we didn't know if it would happen. However, I wanna talk about why I thought it might happen because it's looking like it's actually happening now. So first, here are the charts, right? So a lower low for Bitcoin would look something like visiting that $8,500, potentially $8,100 area down here for Bitcoin, right? In terms of price range, that could be from where we're trading right now, you know, another 15, 20% or so to, uh, to the downside to that lower low. Now, let's give background to why I ha talked about this almost a month ago and why I'm tracking it now. Number one, let's zoom out on the charts. I want to go back to that last, that last bear market to bull market area for Bitcoin. It's extremely important. I'm going to keep talking about this until we break this, uh, this area in, in real time in our current charts. So we have our bull market high back in the last bull market, uh, well, two bull markets ago, to the bear market low in 2015. And you can see Bitcoin got pretty major rejection at this 618 line, this long-term Fibonacci chart. Now, I've been calling this channel, the 618 to 786 channel up here, the, uh, the doorway to the Bitcoin bull market. And you can see how this played out back then. Right? I'm going to zoom in on the charts now. So the reason I've anticipated a falling wedge for Bitcoin off of the current exact same Fibonacci retracement, uh, re retracement resistance area is because this is what happened last time. First off, it's a long-term uh, resistance area for Bitcoin in really defining the cycles of Bitcoin. It's a very important area to watch. Uh, and here it is. Here's a 618 line back in that last bear market to bull market time. Now, what Bitcoin did was it bounced off that 618 line. It fell into a potential bullish symmetrical triangle, right? Continuation to the upside. It actually broke down, right? And what it ended up doing is essentially creating and falling into a falling wedge. Lower lows, lower highs. And we broke out of that falling wedge and we continued up into the bull market, right? Breaking through that 618 eventually and just seeing parabolic gains going into 2017 highs. Now, part of that also was... Bitcoin breaking through the 50 moving average to the downside, hitting the 200 moving average, and then finally breaking back above the 50 moving average. That took a lot of time for that to happen. Now, if we go to the charts today, you can see Bitcoin's testing the 50 moving average right now, as of today, right? We already broke through it once, came back above it, and now we're testing it again. We're on, we're on risky waters right now. It's risky territory. So for Bitcoin right now, I'm watching to see, will this hold in the next couple of days? Are we going to trade sideways? What's this going to look like? But if we dig into the four-hour chart, that's really what I want to talk about. I have a key area that I'm, that I'm really looking for for support. Even if we break through the 50 moving average, it's an area that gives Bitcoin a chance not to see a next lower low. And that is a Fibonacci retracement on the four-hour. So a swing low that we had uh, July 17th to a swing high, you know, visiting the 11,000s again the other day on July 20th. And we take that Fibonacci and we have our, this green channel, a 618 to 786. Now, what you're going to see is that's around $9,800 to uh, 90, we can call it $9,500 area. That's the area that I'm curious to see if Bitcoin sees support at, right? Because at that point, if Bitcoin sees support there, then we'd have a higher low from this previous swing low, right? So that kind of protects us from a lower low that could potentially be in play. This this would be that longer term um, falling wedge for Bitcoin, which could end up being extremely bullish for Bitcoin.
But on the very short term, this is what I'm looking at. This Fibonacci channel right here, $9,800 down to $9,500 or so. I really want to see what happens uh, in that area. Obviously, right now on the four-hour chart, we're trading below the four-hour 50 moving average. Uh, if we get continued resistance below there, that could be the first sign uh, if we pivot over to the daily chart that Bitcoin's not going to really last too much longer above the 50 moving average. So um, that's kind of what I'm looking at. It's kind of what I'm watching for Bitcoin right now. Let me know what you're watching. Let me know what you're thinking out there. I'm very curious of all your thoughts. One, one other thing I want to just point out to you, if you look at these charts, this parabolic you know, move for Bitcoin that it pre previously had, if you look at this first swing high and then this second swing high, this lower high, uh, you're going to see a very similar uh, thing happened at the top of the bull market of 2017 here. We had that swing high. We had that next uh, lower high. And really, that was, a, that was kind of a sign of a weakening of this, of this long-term momentum for Bitcoin. Uh, and that's why we fell into the bear market here, obviously. Now, I'm not saying anything as dramatic as that might happen. However, there could be a short-term weakening for Bitcoin uh, that lies within this swing high to lower high. And Bitcoin could be on its way to, you know, some lower lows in the coming days or weeks or even months. But this will be the setup for Bitcoin to kind of get its get its bearing, get its foundation to enter that next bull market. Those are my thoughts right now on Bitcoin. Let me know how you're doing out there. Are you accumulating? Are you short term bearish or bullish? Press one if you're bullish. Press two if you're bearish. Appreciate you coming by. I want to throw this out there, everybody. If you're into Litecoin, which I know a lot of you are, and you're thinking about going to the Litecoin Summit, you can go register on the Litecoin Summit website right here. Put in code, promo code, Crypto Capital Venture. You will get 10% off for uh, signing up and using our Crypto Capital Venture promo code. I really want to meet anybody that can go. So if you have a chance, go save 10% over there. Get that promo code, and uh, I'll see you there. If you're here and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the channel. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and God bless.